All right, so we've got our keyword list. Now it is time to do our on-page optimization. Very powerful, and most people make this very confusing, and it does not have to be. You can focus your on-page optimization onto a few key points, and if you do so, you're gonna have great results, all right? A lot of people, they focus on way too much stuff on page, like stuff called schema and image alt tags and just all this different stuff on page, which can get very confusing. All right, what I focus on is the title, the URL, the H tags, which is basically bigger text on the screen, and then the meta description. And then of course, just making sure I don't have keywords too much on the page, and that's it. Everything else I kind of throw out the window. I focus on those core things, and when you do that, it makes on-page SEO a lot easier, and just search engine optimization a lot easier. Instead of focusing on 100 different things you need to change, you focus on those five or so, all right? so. Uh, we're logged into WordPress here, and if you need to know how to log into WordPress or anything like that, make sure you watch my series, the Complete Beginner series, and I show everything about you know setting up WordPress and logging in and how to work it and all that type of stuff. All right, so I'm not going to go over any of that in this video because that is all in my training, which you have access to. So, with that said, let's go ahead and start doing our on-page optimization. So, I'm going to first start with the home page. Let's go to our pages and let's find what page is assigned the home page. So let's scroll down. We see right here front page, right? So this is our front page. So I'm going to click on that. And understand when you're doing your on-page optimization, different people have use different editors. Okay, some people use just the regular um, WordPress editor, which would be classic mode. Some people use like a front end editor, which we're going to be using here. And there's different front end editors. So what you use may look different, but you're still changing the same stuff, okay? So just be aware of that. You may have to work your way around a little bit which editor you're using, but they're all pretty simple. All right, so let's go ahead and use the front end editor that whatever it is we're using here. And I've never used this one, so this will be a process for me as well. Um, you know, I've never used this one, so we'll, I'll have to figure out some things probably with how it works. All right, so we have the site loaded up here. And actually, you know what, before I get here, let me go back and I want to change the, the title of this page. So let's go back to back end. This should bring us back. All right, here we go. All right, so the title they have as color, let's start with the title. This is the title of the home page. All right, so they have color bright painting of Long Island, uh, serving the building industry, blah, 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 blah. So, what they have here actually is being pulled from the settings page. And I go over, go over all this in my series, but or my beginner series. So let's go to settings and we're going to change the, the home page title from here. Settings general. Sorry, so we have color bright painting of Long Island. Now we have that in there because that is the name of our GMB listing. We want that to match, right? So, we're, but we're already taking care of some keywords in here. We got painting and Long Island, okay? of course the name of our company what I want to do is I want to put that on the end of my title let's let's put some other keywords first all right so we have color bright painting of Long Island so let's bring up our keyword list and right now we really have uh, so we actually got to add painting here so right now we really have painting you know we have this is for Long Island so let's put Long Island up here all right so we really have Long Island painting um, we have Long Island painting, that's it. We just have Long Island and painting, that's it. And remember before they had like serving the building industry for 50 plus years. So that was the, the rest of the title they, they had in place right now. And we actually added Long Island already. So all they had really was color bright and then like serving the building industry for 50 plus years. That's what they had as their title. They don't have any keywords in there. A title is one of the most important places that you can put your keywords. So what we want to do is we want to match our GMB listing, but we also want to put in as many keywords as we can here that are very important because this is a very powerful place to have your keywords. So we want to have a natural listing that also has, you know, our most important keywords in it as well as we can. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to put this on the end. So now we have Long Island and painting, all right? But, you know, of course our most important keyword probably is painter and painters. So I probably want to add that in too. So let's start with Long Island Painter. All right, color bright painting of Long Island. Let's see. All right, so with with how our GMB is, we may not add we may not be able to add in many more 
keywords here because really our next most important keywords would probably be like company and contractor. Uh, try to work those in, but you know, like house painting, cheap painting, residential, all that stuff will be worked into our other on page, like our big text and all that, because those are, those are smaller keywords. We definitely want our big keywords here, and our big keywords are painter, painters, and of course painting, right? And this really takes care of painters too. I'm not worried about getting painter and painters in because they're so similar, but I at least want one of those. So I could do Long Island painters or Long Island painter. I'm just going to go with painter. It doesn't matter which one. All right. Then, of course, our second most important keyword is painting. So I have our two most important keywords in there. And then, of course, our location. We want to make sure that's in there as well. All right. And I got it both here and here. I wouldn't want to do more than twice, but I have it twice in here. So I have Long Island Painter and I have Painting Long Island. All right. And now we'll also take care of Long Island Painter, Painter Long Island. So it'll take care of the reverse. Right. So just be aware of all that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more keywords in our title without seeming unnatural. Now, I'd love to work in like contractor. Uh, would Long Island painter contractor wouldn't make sense. Um, let's see, I like to stay under 70 characters. So let's go do a character count. And maybe I can add in a little more here. So you can, this is something I use to count characters. So let's see what I currently have. So this will show up like this, then I'll do a space or it'll do a separator, and then we have this. So that's 57, we only have 13 more. No. I could pay me put contractors on the end there. Color bright painting of Long Island. See, Joe really likes this to match the GMB, or I would put contractor right here, right? But he likes to make the match GMB exactly, so I don't, I don't wanna mess with that. And we can put in contractor and contracting and, and company and all that type of stuff. Um, In, in other important areas. So I'm gonna stick with this, okay? We have our two most important keywords. We have painter and painting. When we first started this website, they had none of that, okay? So they didn't have painter, they didn't have painting, they didn't even have, actually they had painting, I'm sorry, because they had color break painting. But they didn't have Long Island in here either, so they were missing their, some of their most important keywords. We've now helped Google identify what this site is about in one of the most important places, which is really big. This is gonna give us a lot of, a lot more um, kind of credit for these keywords. Anything with Long Island, painter, or painting, we're gonna get a whole lot more credit for now because it's in our title, which is a very important piece of your own page, all right? So let's stick with that. Long Island painter dash color bright painting of Long Island, okay? Let's actually go see something really quick. Let's do some keyword research. I wanna see if painter or painters gets more searches. That, that way I'll, I'll know if I'm gonna go with, um, either painter or painters. It's just a little difference, but all right, so we got 480 for painter. And then painters is 480 as well, so it's the same, all right, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Let's go back. All right, so Long Island painter, Long Island painters. All right, well, let's leave painter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and update that, save changes. And you see, I spent a decent amount, I spent five minutes on our title. The reason is because it's a very important, it's the most important thing uh, besides URL and domain name. It's, it's the most, one of the biggest places that you can put keywords. So you want to make sure you know what you're doing there. All right. So let's now go to, back to our homepage. Now that we have our, our homepage title set. So let's go back to, front page and now we're going to go to our front end editor and by the way just so you can see that title change was made let's go to our, our website let's go to color bright 
alanpainting.com and you'll see when I hover over the title now, that should show. So you see, Long Island Painter, a separator, color by painting of Long Island, all right? So let's close this. Now we're in our front page editor, all right? So this is what they currently have set up. Let's see, color by painting of Long Island services. Um, so what I'm basically looking at right here is the bigger text on the screen, all right? This stuff right here, because that's what you get the next most credit for, all right? This little text here, you don't get much credit. The only thing I worry about with the little text, I make sure there's not like a ton of keywords. Like you, don't, I make sure I'm not like stuffing keywords in there. I don't want like Long Island Painter, Long Island Painter, Long Island Painter. That's what people try to do. They try to stuff keywords in there and that can get you hurt actually. That can over optimize you. So really the next thing I pay attention to is getting some, some of those other important keywords into our big text. And then from there, I just make sure there's not too many keyword stuffing on the page. All right, so let's see here. There's not many places for me to add here, but let's see what we can do. All right. I wish there was more content here, and I might have them add more content because what I would like to do is maybe add a section for exterior painting, interior painting, because those were important to them. Um, you know, then I can add in like, you know, the work, they got services here, but I want to add in contractor. Let's see if we can do something with this right here. So let's go ahead and edit this. So how do I edit? Heading, I'm guessing. Edit. All right, here we go. So the title, they have this title right here. Color break painting of Long Island services. So what would make sense to change this to? Where I can add in keywords. Remember some keywords I really want to add in is exterior painting, interior painting, uh, contractor and companies. Because those are really big. Um, you know, house painting, residential painting, all that stuff is kind of smaller. And it looks like this page is so small right now we're not going to be able to fit it in. Maybe we'll do that later on when they start paying us more money, if they start paying us more. Uh, but right now I just want to take care of the main keywords. Which really for me probably would be exterior, interior, um, company, and then contractors. So let's see. Let's do trusted maybe trusted painting contractors. services so see what this does is it gives me a lot more pool for painting contractors but also anything with like painting services in it I think services was part of our keywords was it in there yeah painting services so that is something people are searching so now that's going to help us. this is going to just making this little change is going to help us rank easier for anything with contractors and services in it okay let's go ahead and save that and I don't need to repeat Long Island because I already have Long Island twice in my title. You know, I'm already identifying this, this page is about Long Island. So I don't really need to repeat Long Island in this text right here. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Let's actually change this to contractor and service. I think that sounds a little more natural. So trusted painting contractor and service. All right. So that's good. Choose your paint color. I wonder if we can maybe. Let's do, how about this? I'm gonna kind of sneakily work this in. How about we do, let's do interior painting, exterior painting, our portfolio. Now we've added in interior painting and exterior painting, okay? And that kind of makes sense there. I mean, you know, it's not the best, but what I'll probably do is tell them I need more content. 
and then you can more naturally work in stuff like interior exterior painting but this will do I mean this is going to help us rank a lot easier for anything that's interior painting and exterior painting just adding that all right so how about right here we can work in company because we haven't done company yet about our company how about that now we can rank a lot easier for company because we have company in big text on our on our page actually you know what I want to do paint painting company if I can fit it boom now just those little changes which took us Sorry, I pulled the wrong screen, which took us five minutes is going to help us rank for so many more keywords so much easier. I mean, we just added in contractor. Ser well, service was already there. So Joe already had that on there. So we added in contractor. We added in company. We added in exterior painting and interior painting on very important places on our page, which is bigger text. If something is bigger on your page, Google gives it a lot more credit. Okay, so we added in. For our title, what do we add in? Just, you know, over the last five minutes, we've really, really, really increased our chances of ranking for some bigger keywords. We added in painter, so Long Island painter. We added in painting, so Long Island painting. We added in uh, contractor, service was already there. We added in company, and we also added in interior painting and exterior painting. So all those keywords really weren't anywhere on this page. So how would Google know our websites about that? They wouldn't, okay? Because we didn't have it anywhere on the page, not to mention in the most important places, which is, of course, URL, title, and then bigger text on your screen, all right? So in the last 10 minutes, we've just greatly intensified the power of this website with, our, with simple on-page changes, and that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and update this. Now this page will be updated. So now when we reload, we should see all that come to fruition. Yep, trusted painting contractor and service. Uh, learn more about our painting company, interior painting, exterior painting, of course our portfolio, which is already there. Not an important keyword though. Uh, and then we didn't, so we didn't really change the look of the page. We just added in some keywords sneakily on the page in bigger text, right? And that's gonna help us rank for all those keywords much, much easier. So now let's go back. So let's go back to the back end editor. I want to change one more area, okay? And that's called your meta description. And that is going to be right here, your description, okay? So it looks like there's already a description here. We're probably going to change it a little bit. All right. So uh, uh, now a meta description, just so you know what it is exactly, let's go to Long Island Painter. A meta description is basically what is displayed right here, okay? And that's probably the next most important place on the list because it's, you know, it's kind of a, a higher trap or a higher seen area. The more likely it's to be seen, the, the more important it is, all right? So this is, this is pretty important. This is about as important as bigger text on your page. Not as, as important as your, as your URL, which is basically like what's up here in the, in, the, in the URL box, or what your title is. Those are the two most important. All right, then it's bigger text on your screen and your meta description, which we're about to change now. So let's see. We already worked in some really important keywords, but we can repeat those again. All right. Painting, so we got we can hit painting company again. That's a very important one. Uh, serving. So I'm just gonna, I wanna make this shorter so I can mix in more keywords. All right, so we're mixing in NY now, New York, so that'll help us a little bit. This will help us rank for anything NY or New York, okay? Now, you wanna have a mix here of, for your, your meta description, because people will read this. So you wanna have a mix of mixing in keywords, but also staying kind of intriguing. And you wanna like kind of get stuff that will make people click your things. So you don't just wanna like list a whole bunch of keywords here. You wanna have stuff that entices people. And this is something actually that will entice people is you know one hour response time, fast service, right? So what I can do is, let's see, we offer, I'm just gonna say we offer commercial painting, even though I don't know if we do, because that's gonna help us rank for commercial related terms. 
and then I can change it later if we need to. And what other important stuff do we have? House. Let's see, maybe we do house painting. So now I've added in house painting and commercial painting. Okay, so those are two other big keywords on our list. Um, cheap, I won't work in. That's not worried about that. We already did all these, so I'm not as worried about these. That they're in really important places. But I also just mix in house painting and commercial painting. Okay. Actually, I'll do residential because I think that sounds more residential painting, commercial painting. And now I'm wondering if there's a, a place I can add in house on here. And I'm not going to worry about that. Again, if this is a higher paying client, I'd probably spend more time on this and maybe do another section. So I'd have like house painting and describe like types of house painting we do. I'm not going to worry about that. We just probably won't rank as well for house painting or house related keywords. And that's okay. We can always add in later. forget what their so let's do I want to see what their original thing was one hour response time that's what I was wondering all right so All right, so I try to keep this intriguing still uh, with this last line, one hour response time, fast service. Um, but I also added in a bunch of keywords, right? We got paint, we got painting company, Long Island again. Uh, we got residential painting, commercial painting. Actually, you know what I can do? Is so I can do, we do commercial and residential. That way we can save uh, some character limits there because we already did commercial painting. Um, we don't need to say painting twice. We can just say commercial in it. So we got commercial and residential painting. I'm just what I'm just trying to do is just add in as many important keywords as I can. I don't want to overthink this though, which I'm probably kind of doing. So that's good right there. I'm not, we're not going to overthink this. We added in some more keywords in an important place. We're going to update it and we're good to go. All right, and the on page for the home page now has a whole lot more keywords. All right, and really, I probably expanded on that more than I need to for a five hundred dollar client. But the reason I did that was for you guys. You know, when you get higher paying clients, that you need to go deeper into keyword research for. You can take it through that longer phase and spend more time on it. Well, on this initial client, you just want to make sure you get painter, painting, maybe contractor and company. That's pretty much it. All the house painting and commercial painting and all the more long tail keywords, that's usually gonna be for higher paying clients. Okay, I'm just kind of naturally mixing this in and spending more time on it to show you guys what you need to do uh, when it comes to clients, all right? Who, who may be paying a little more. And you can do this for a $500 client if you want, uh, but you know it just depends on how you wanna value your time and how much they're paying you and all that. So. Now we gotta do the other two pages. We got Suffolk County and Nassau County. So let's go to those pages now. All right, so here's the Nassau County painting. Now they just put up these pages. So one thing that I wanna do is change the URL. They made the URL, you know, slash Nassau County Painting Services. I don't want painting services in the URL because we already know this is about, you know, this is a painting company. Like that's identified right here, like in the domain name. So I don't really need to repeat painting again in this inner URL. We already know this site's about painting. So I'm not going to repeat painting. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just delete this, the painting services, 
and then hit OK. And it's going to update my URL to just Nassau County. All right, so we got Colorbird Painting slash Nassau County. All right, and that just identifies this page is about Nassau County. Now what we're going to do is change our title. I don't know if we're doing, um, I don't know if we're doing citations for this page or not. If we do, we may need to change the title up a little bit. But I'm going to just make the title what I can right now. All right. And we may change it later on. So let's do Nassau County Painters. And again, I can mix in as many as my keywords as I want. So now we're really working on Nassau County. So I got painters in there. I definitely want painting. Let's do maybe do number one trusted. So we can't, we're not going to repeat Nassau County. All right. So we can actually get company and contract. Does that make sense? Com painting company and contractor? Yeah, that would make sense. So now with this listing, we got Nassau County painters in there. And this will also remember pool from here. So we got Nassau County painting, right? Then we got Nassau County over to the left. You can't see it anymore. Painting company. And also Nassau County painting contractors. We got really all of our most important keywords into this title. We may have to change the title if we're doing a, a GMB listing for this, which I don't know if we are or not. But for now, I'm going to do this title because I, I just don't know if we're doing a GMB. We may have to add in, you know, color bright painting of Nassau County, which we'd probably have to take out, we'd probably replace this with, right? So I'd probably do Nassau County painters and then color bright painting of Nassau County if we have to match that GMB, if we're doing a GMB for it. But I don't know that yet, so for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. We have a lot of keywords in our title. This is gonna help us a lot, all right? So we might as well do our meta description right now. Let's go to our original one. Actually, I don't have that up. I'm just gonna make something up. I'm not gonna spend too much time here because I'm gonna try to remember this is a $500 client. We already did the meta description for the home page, so you guys know how to do it correctly, but Let's see. Let's see, we'll do color bright is I can do is put houses in parentheses there that way you know we, we we rank for anything house or houses or I can do home so we offer All right, so this meta description, I kind of focused more on just adding in a bunch of keywords. I didn't do as much enticing stuff. I didn't say the one hour response time. That may be something they want to change up later on, but for now, I'm just kind of getting a whole bunch of keywords in here and just kind of expanding on the keywords we can rank for. So for now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to update it. Again, I'm not going to spend as much time here. The reason I spent so much time on the first one is because I just want you guys to know that, uh, you know, when it comes to a higher paying client, you may want to put more time into it. When it's a lower paying client, just pick something and go with it. Okay, as long as you're getting uh, a good amount of keywords in there, the right keywords, and you're, you know, it doesn't sound totally ridiculous. This, I mean, Colorbright is a highly trusted painting service in Nassau County. We offer residential, home, commercial, interior, exterior, and many other painting services. So that doesn't sound unnatural, right? And I still got a whole lot of keywords in there. I probably could make it better. But there's, I just, there's no reason to spend more time on that right now. So page is updated. Now let's go to the front end editor, and we're going to add, we're going to edit the rest of the of the page. 
And I told Joe that for these pages, I kind of, kind of, we, we knew the most important keywords here. So this wasn't already. This this was created. The original content on the homepage they already had. So that's why that you know there's not many places to add content. This content that we made, we knew what their important keywords are. So you can see we already have some of the important keywords in big text here. Okay, but I am still going to make some changes. We got interior painting, we got exterior painting. They actually have staining, so it looks like staining is an important keyword for them, which I didn't know. We can always go back to the homepage and add that. For now, I'm not going to. All right, they got wallpaper, so I guess they wanted that. Pressure washing, I guess they want to go after that too. All right, so I'm not going to do too many changes here, but one thing I don't like to keep repeating the location in you know our bigger text. Like we don't really need to repeat the location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take out the locations. So instead of interior painting Nassau County, just interior painting. We don't need to keep saying Nassau County, right? Because we already identified Nassau County in the URL. Remember I did colorbrightpainting.com slash Nassau County. We already identified there and it's identified in the um, title. So if we go to colorbrightpainting.com slash Nassau County. Like we already, Google already knows this page is about Nassau County. It's identified right here in the URL and in the title, Nassau County Painters, which, which, um, which are the two most important places, right? So it's already identified in the most important places. There's no reason to keep, keep repeating it here because that can just end up hurting us actually if you repeat it too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and make those changes. So just interior painting and save. Um, just exterior painting and save it. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, just staining. No need to keep repeating Nassau County. That can only hurt us or has a higher likelihood of hurting us. So just wallpaper, then you can repeat Nassau County. Let's see. Pressure washing, again, I don't want to keep repeating Nassau County. That's a mistake a lot of people make because they try to stuff in stuff like that um, and they keep stuffing it in and that will just end up hurting you. All right. There's no reason to keep repeating Nassau County like that. All right, so we're good. I'm not gonna add in any more keywords in the big text because there's just no reason to. I already put our most important keywords in the title and then I really hit the meta description pretty good and we have some pretty important keywords in our uh, big text too, which is our H tags. We got interior painting, we got exterior painting, we got staining, wallpaper, uh, pressure washing. So yeah, we got some important keywords in there. Again, it's a lower paying client. I could go in, add more content if they wanted to rank for, uh, you know, better for residential painting. I could go in, add a section about residential painting and talk about that, and I would hit those keywords harder. But we don't need to. We already hit that in the meta description, which may be enough for us to rank. You know, if it's a five thousand dollar client, I'm going to make sure I put more effort into this. I'm going to add a section about residential painting so I can get residential painting in big text, which gives us a higher chance of ranking for that term. The main things I'm worried about are, you know, painter, painting, uh, painting company, painting contractor. Those are really the main stuff. And then secondary, of course, would be interior painting, exterior painting. And then also for this page, staining wallpaper and pressure washing, uh, you know, we'll get a pretty big boost for. So the next thing I want to do is I, will, I just want to make sure no keywords are, aren't repeated too much uh, on this page. Um, specifically, like, you know, stuff like Nassau County being repeated over and over. So we have it once here, that's fine. Um, let's see. All right, so let's change this up. We don't need to keep repeating Nassau County, okay? So let's see. So we've been in the painting. It doesn't need to say the Nassau County painting business, just the painting business. You don't need to say Nassau County painting business. That because you're just kind of unnaturally repeating keywords. You don't need to do that. So we'll just say other painting contractors. 
All right, so I changed that. Let's see. So that's good. Again, I'm just making sure we don't keep repeating like Nassau County or, you know, painting contractor, painting contractor, painting contractor, painting contractor. If you see a, a keyword too much, you just want to make sure that you kind of delete some of those. All right, so this looks good overall. You know, we just took out a couple of that Nassau County. Now we can leave it down here. That's just once. We only have it a couple times in there, so that's fine. All right, so this page is good now. It's updated. All right, so now our Nassau County page is good to go. That's the on page four. That's it. Okay, I'm not worrying about everything else. That's it. Really, it came down to the URL, the title, the big text on the screen, and the meta description. That's it. This is good to go. All right, so now let's go back to our back end editor, and we're going to go do the Suffolk County page. And really, what I could do at this point is so let's go to my merge words. So we are in Nassau County, right? So it looks like on that page, we have a good chance of ranking for, what do they have? Staining, wallpaper, and pressure washing. So let's add those keywords in just for fun. Staining, pressure washing, and wallpaper. Merge, boom. I'm gonna copy these in throw them in our keyword tool and it'll start tracking those. Why not? That's just more keywords we can, we can report to the client. And the reason we have a good chance of ranking for those is because we have that type of stuff as big text on this page. Well, if I reload, Nassau County will be out of there, but let's go back. So I reloaded and again, bam. So now we have pressure washing on big text. So that allows us to rank for anything Nassau County Pressure washing. You know, we're identifying the page about being Nassau County right here in our title right here, and then of course right here in our uh, on our page. So Nassau County pressure washing, a lot higher chance of rank for that. Nassau County wallpaper, a lot higher chance of rank for that. Okay, Nassau Nassau County staining, a lot higher chance of rank for that because we have it as big text on our page. All right, so let's go back and now let's do uh, Suffolk County. And we'll go through this one a lot quicker because you kind of already get the ID, I'm sure. And now, like on this one, I'm going to show you pretty much as quick as I update a page. Like I'm not going to explain as much because you already got an explanation for you know the first one a lot, the second one like a medium amount. Now I'm going to kind of show you how quick I update a page like when I'm doing this. All right, so here's Suffolk County. So the first thing I know, I just want it named Suffolk County. So I'm going to go ahead and edit here. Boom. Okay, so our, our URL is updated. Now I'm going to go and update the title. So Suffolk County Painter, number one trusted painting company and contractor. Color bright is. And actually, since, I'm, since I already have interior and exterior, sorry, I said I wasn't gonna explain too much. I probably don't need to repeat interior and exterior painting in my description, because I already have that as big text on the page. Remember I have, so I probably could go back and edit this description, but it's not that big of a deal. And I have exterior painting and interior painting on the page. Now I'm guessing this page is set up the same way, so I really don't need to repeat those. What I'm gonna do is be all for residential, home, and commercial painting. Services. And since I said painting services here, I'm going to change this to painting company. All right. And for this page, just so you know, it's like not a super big deal. Like, don't overthink it. For this page, I went back to more enticing, you know, something one hour response time, fast service. All right. Uh, I didn't mix in as many keywords for this one. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
Okay, either way is fine. It's just getting it going, getting the, the most important keywords there, and, you know, to wrap the most important places that I listed, and then moving forward. Okay. The biggest problem is when people don't have important keywords in these places, and then they try to rank, and it just never happens. All right, so that's done. So now let's go to the front end editor. So we got our services. All right, so I'm going to change all these again. We got it set up the same way, which I figured. So interior painting, save changes. We got exterior painting. And the reason I'm taking that stuff up counting is I don't want to over optimize the page. If, it, if, you, if you're seen as over optimizing, Google thinks you're trying to manipulate them or you know manipulate the rankings, and they'll penalize you for it. So you don't want to do you don't want to keep repeating a term, especially like with big text on your page. And then pressure washing. Boom. Save. And that's good. Now, last thing I just want to make sure there's that we don't keep repeating stuff on this page like too much. So I can I can leave that one. Painting contract in Suffolk County. Let's see. I just want to make sure there's nothing that's like. So again, we don't need to say Suffolk County painting business. That doesn't. That's, that's forcing it, and I don't. I don't like to do that. So I'm going to take out. I'm just going to say we've been in the painting business, not the Suffolk County painting business. It's kind of. And again, same thing here. Other painting contractors. Save changes. I'm skimming through it, like I'm just making sure I don't see any keywords repeated over and over and over again. All right, so let's look good. Let's go ahead and update it, and we're done. That's our on page. That's our on page optimization. As simple as that. As you see, this page here took me like three or four minutes without having to explain too much. I go in, I make the changes to the title, the meta description, the big text on the screen. I make sure there's not too much keywords on the page like in the littler text like I don't want to see Nassau County I'm sorry Suffolk County painting contractor Suffolk County painting contractor Suffolk County painting contractor Suffolk County painting contractor Suffolk County painter but you don't want to see the same especially bigger keywords over and over by bigger keywords I mean like longer all right if you say painting contractor five times on your on your page on a page of this big that's fine but if you say you know Suffolk County painting best Suffolk County painting painting contractor Best Suffolk County painting contractor. Best Suffolk, like if you say those longer keywords more on your page, like especially up near the 10 mark for a page of this size, you can be over optimized. You want to be careful of that. Ours is definitely isn't. You know, we don't have that too much, so it, everything looks good. Okay, and that's just something I skim over. All right, so update. Now, what I'm going to do is go back and, whoops, I'm going to go back to our merge words. We're going to replete. Replace Nassau with Suffolk because we kind of have the same keywords we're going after there. We might as well track these. All right. All right, and those are added. All right, so our on page is done. Boom. All right, everything is good to go. Now, one thing I noticed is in this page it says Nassau County Painters, number one trusted painting company and contractors, and then Long Island Painter. We don't want that Long Island Painter on the end there, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and change that. I usually don't use this SEO plugin. I use something called Yoast. Joe is using all-in-one, but it should be the same thing. So let me go back. So let's go back to our dashboard. And we're gonna to go to all-in-one SEO. Here it is right here. And let's go to general settings. All right, so let's go to title settings all right so we don't want site title in there so what I'm going to do is just delete site title boom and delete site title here boom. So for any post or page I don't want the site title to show I just want my page title to show okay or my post title so let's go ahead and update that 
Now when I reload this, that Long Island Painter on the end shouldn't be there. Because this, this page isn't about Long Island Painter. This is about Nassau County, this page, right? So let's go ahead and reload that, and that should be gone now. Boom, now we just got Nassau County Painters, number one trusted painting company and contractor. We're optimized so well now, okay? We have our two most important keywords, really three most important keywords in our title. We got Nassau County Painter, Nassau County Painting, then we also got Nassau County Painting Company, and then Nassau County Painting Contractors. So really our four most important keywords are in our title, right? And of course we identify Nassau County in our URL. And then next, we identify important keywords with bigger text on our screen, interior painting, exterior painting, which were the next two most important. So that's really all I'm worried about for this client. And then we finished it off with the uh, meta description where we have you know, residential painting, commercial painting. We just kind of add in some more long tail stuff. But the biggest places I'm concerned about are right here, okay, just identifying the, the, the city, the title, which is probably the biggest, okay, with the URL. And then next would be you know, our kind of secondary keywords go right here. Right, and then kind of our third third area, you could say, like our really long tail keywords like residential, commercial, house, all that type of stuff can go in our meta description. All right. Now, if we had more content, uh, we could also work those into here, and we'd have a higher chance of ranking for them. I'm talking about stuff like residential, commercial painting, all that type of stuff. But again, this is a five hundred dollar client. I'm not going to do that for this client because it just costs more money to do that. Right. So this is the on page. It's as simple as that. Take care of your URL, your title, your bigger text on the screen, your meta descriptions. Make sure you don't have too many keywords, too much, you know, in your smaller text, and that is it. All right, and we're good to go. And you'll see just from this, we should start seeing some some pretty good rankings from this, just from making these little changes. And it may take a few weeks, maybe even a couple months, but these changes will start kicking in, and Google will start recognizing. So I hope you all enjoyed this on-page optimization video, uh, over-the-shoulder style. I'll see you on the next one.